Hello there, welcome to volume 24 in our Visual Basic tutorial series. In this tutorial I will be taking a look at why global variables should be avoided and local variables used instead. Okay, this uh, tutorial uh, kind of ties in with volume 22 which is the one before this one no sorry the one before the one before this one so it's tutorial two tutorials back when we discussed procedures and parameters okay now the idea of local and global variables a local variable is this we are defining a variable locally to command one if we had another command button hello has no existence in this this command 2 does not know what hello is if we need to if command 2 wants to know what hello is then we put hello as integer here then we call the command 2 procedure like so that means command 2 no, now knows what hello is because command 1 is providing the knowledge and passing it as a parameter like so. This may look more complex than this approach. If we define it globally, just under option explicit, that means command 1 knows what it is, command 2 knows what it is, anything you put in here knows what it is, any sub will know what hello is because you're defining it globally. They have full access to it. The reason this should be avoided, maybe not for personal use, but if your intentions are for business, you should ignore global variables and avoid them, because if you work in a team working on a big project such as MSN Messenger, you, one team may get delegated the task of designing the chat windows and coding them, one person may delegate the task of uh, creating the options window, one may uh, sort out the contacts uh, coding um, when you piece all this code together you'll have loads of glo global variables you don't know which ones are which and when people put their coding together for example when someone one team puts their options window into someone else's coding for the main window they may then um, there may be dif differences on global variables used and you're going to have a big long string of them but if you use parameters here's a handy trick here that I'd like to show you when using parameters you can pass it as a parameter to command 2 like so but this doesn't in this section here we can say hi as integer you see if different teams use different variables which they most probably will do pretend this is the options command on a program and this is the main interface and there's options one team is contributing their options command, one team is contributing the main interface. We now need to integrate the options into the main interface. Of course the options might have used different variables like hi and things like that. Whereas the main interface might have used hello instead of hi. Therefore we've got different variables. But the good thing about parameters is that we pass hello like such and when we define our parameters here hello means hi it's passed across as hi so what we're doing now is when you want to reference hello in this procedure you can refer to it as hi say hi equals hello there and that changes the value of hello to hi and when we change this it's changing the value of hello so that is why parameters is a good and proper professional thing to use rather than global variables. But if you're using Visual Basic for your own personal use and you're coding the entire of the program yourself then feel free to use global variables as you will find them much easier than messing about and trying to learn parameters.
So I hope you have learned something here and this has been more directed at people who want to take up Visual Basic in teams of more than one person, maybe businesses and little teams. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and the other tutorials on my website. Thank you and goodbye.